Hi, this is Mike Cucciarelli, the creator of the YouTube channel Still at Photography of Michael Cucciarelli. And tonight's webinar, I'll be talking about all the tools I'll be, I use in light painting, whether I light paint a car or light paint like a small ornament like that. So I'm going to talk about all the tools. First tool I want to talk about is a tripod. And this is great when you want to light paint a car. And I recommend that you just put the plate inside the tripod because there was a time when I went to a place, I forgot the plate. It wasn't in my bag. Then I had to go all the way home and come back the next day. So if you put the plate in the tripod, you won't forget the plate. This is one tripod that I use. And this is another tripod that I use. Again, the plate is in the tripod, so you don't forget the plate. And this is like if I want to get really down on the ground. Give me these legs. Like that. And then this is my camera stand. I use this stand when I want to light paint something like this indoors. And I usually use my cable release because I don't have to walk very far. Then when I light paint outside, I like to use a remote trigger where these two work together. They both use AAA batteries. And this goes in any hot shoe in any digital camera. You just turn it on and you have um, 30 channels. You have an intermeter. You, you need bulb mode. You can set the timer. And this is great. Like, when I light paint a car and you're 15 feet away. This is great for when you don't, when a cable release is not good enough. This is even better and it's more effective. I'm gonna start with the biggest lights first, the most powerful light. This light is the Godex LC500. You have barn doors. You could make the light smaller or more narrow. You could also switch to 3300K and just a click with the mode. And you have a screw mount if you want to put it on a stand. And it also comes with the charge. A charger. And let's see, I'm at, I think I'm at half or three quarters, so I need the charges, but this is a, you know, this is great for light painting a car. And I recommend that you use the barn doors and you want to also try to light paint from down below. You want to light paint at a distance starting from high. I'm going to turn this off. This is another light where this you can use a very long time if you want to light paint at a distance, like light paint a tree. And I always recommend that you make sure that you charge it before you use it. And right now, I haven't used this in a while, so I need to charge it. But this is great, a powerful light. And it comes with, you know, electric charger. It also comes with the car charger. The 
This is another life where this is the YN216 where it comes with barn doors and you can control the dimmer with the dimmer in the back. And you can also use, if you don't have a plug or if you can't use a plug, it comes with six two AA batteries. So six two AA batteries. You want to make sure you have fresh batteries. And this is great. And let's see. Also comes with plastic, you know, gel if you want to experiment with the color. It also comes with a clear gel if you want to soften the light. And if you want to just stand this up, you could use this small, tiny camera stand. And it also can fit in any hot shoe of any modern digital camera. This is a great tool that has a lot of flexibility. I'm now going to turn it off. And think about this last camera I showed. It doesn't come with the electric cord. You have to purchase it separately, but it's worth an investment, a separate purchase. Now I want to talk about this light. And this is just a snoot snock, a snoot sock to make the light um, more softer. And it also comes with a car charger and it comes with electric cable with electric cord. And it can be operated with the DTAP battery, but I always use the electric cord. This is great if you want to light paint something really, really big. And it has a dimmer. Here's another powerful light. Where you could just, I just charge it up. It charges up pretty quickly. And this is great if I suppose you want to light paint through like a white reflector. You can buy this at the hardware store. But I recommend, you know, like the Godex lighting wand. This is a regular LED flashlight where you can make the light more narrow and you can put, let's call it a filter, where you measure the diameter of the flashlight, then you go to the hardware store and you make sure that the pipe has the same diameter and then you get a hacksaw and this could be a nice filter to make the light softer when you light it. Uh, several lights like this. This is a very small lit flashlight, but it has a powerful light. And a lot of times, you know, you have to use it with the filter to make the light softer. And these filters, they're just foil pipes from a hardware store where you get a hacksaw, you cut it at a slant, and then you just tape it with duct tape. And these are like between 50 and 70 LEDs. LEDs how you measure the power of the LED light. Another LED flashlight in a foil filter. This is another, you know, to make the light softer, you want to use a foil filter. There's another LED flashlight. 
but to make the light softer, you want to use a foil filter. And you can also light paint through a white screw reflector. Now I use this a lot, like when I light paint over here, And you can also, you know, you can also light paint a scrim. And I have many sizes of scrims. There was a time when I was light painting where what I do is I set everything up like around sunset time. There was like light coming in and it was a harsh light in the background. And I had a big scrim to block out the harsh light. The scrims are great. If you want to, you know, light paints, especially something shiny, you can also light paint without the scrim, without the foil filter through the scrim. So scrims are great. Plastic fusion scrims are great for making a light soft. I'm gonna turn this off to save electricity. And these are my cases, the store stuff. And this is great for holding, keeping the camera still. You put this on a small set, like the pipe section of the tripod. It's great for using like one of these tripods on the floor. This is great for using it when it's a windy day. It's great for keeping you know, the camera still. Well, I think I covered about everything, and this is Mike Pucciarelli, creator of the YouTube channel Still Life Photography of Michael Pucciarelli, and on my Still Life YouTube channel, I have a whole section on the white plexus table, the black plexus table, light painting, equipment, and Adobe Photoshop. So I have about five channels, so I just... Thank you for listening and watching, and maybe you can like and subscribe. Thank you for listening.